Hello fellow orchid lovers, it's Danielle here with a brief update video. I know I've been missing for quite a few weeks. Uh, we've been pretty busy, so I haven't had an opportunity to really uh, post a video, so I apologize for that. And I've also been a little remiss getting back to you. I will make an, an effort to answer your questions and comments. So I just wanted to give you a little quick look at my collection the exciting things that are happening, it's some interesting things that are happening as well. And uh, just give you something uh, so that you know I haven't dropped off the face of the earth. Uh, so th these are the plants that I have that are currently in bloom. As you can see, uh, we're doing pretty good. I have a few others that are in spike that I'm also going to share with you. And then a few of the um, orchids that I'm, you know, in the process of rescuing, I wanted to give you an update on that. Uh, so as you can see, I have quite a few of my Phalaenopsis in bloom. Uh, this is a spike that I grew myself. Uh, she, I've had her for a little over a year, probably closer to a year and a half. Um, so this is a spike that she grew in my care and as you can see she is an overachiever So she has her main spike here with quite a few blooms and then she has a secondary and another Secondary spike over here with um, quite a few buds. So all in all when this completely opens It's gonna be uh, quite a show. So I'm really excited about that This is my girl that's been in bloom since I got her uh, she started off with this very long, crazy spike right here, and then um, she kept extending off the ends, and then now she decided to put out a secondary spike with quite a few blooms on that as well. So that's pretty exciting. This one is one of mine that um, she kind of surprised me. So uh, this is a spike that, um, you know, uh, the store had cut the spike and she was putting out a secondary spike and then she decided she wasn't quite done <laughs> so she put out all these flowers they all opened and then all of a sudden off the tip of her spike she started growing like putting out an extension and as you can see there's quite a few of buds on there so she already has uh, six blooms and now she's getting one two three four five six more blooms um, so that's gonna be 12 blooms as you can see um, I turn them around in the window so I can see the blooms and that's the way the light is <laughs> so it's gonna be a funky looking spike but whatever <laughs> she's beautiful I am really thrilled that she's gonna put out more flowers and I have one other that's doing that I have this one uh, this is the one I named after my niece, Kay um, Kaylin. Uh, Caitlin, I'm sorry. Kaylin's the other one. Uh, this is also putting out an extension. A little bit smaller, but still. Um, so I'm going to say my girls are pretty happy. This is the one that had the dyed spike. And I was curious to see if any of the blooms were going to have blue in them, but they don't. But that's fine. They are huge, huge white blooms. I mean, if you look at that one and this one, these are ginormous. So really, really pretty. Uh, the leaves have blue in them. The leaves, um, they absorb some blue, but the fresh blooms do not have any blue in them, which is fine. Um, I didn't really want them to be blue. I was just curious to see if any of the dye was still present in the spike. Uh, my dendrobium is starting to lose some of her blooms as you can see they're starting to fade but this has been around for several weeks so they lasted a really long time I don't know how long they're supposed to last but they lasted a really long time um, I know dendrobiums usually um, they don't last that long so I'm kind of happy but I don't know enough about this plant to really make a statement like that but I do really enjoy these blooms they're really cool looking I've never had a plant with anything quite this interesting before, so I'm enjoying that. What else? Uh, the other dendrobium that's in bloom, my Latoria, uh, she's still going strong. The last time she was in bloom, the blooms lasted for well over three months, so I'm going to have these for a while. And they smell like white chocolate. It's really sweet, wonderful smell. And she's in my kitchen, so I 
I cook a lot, so I, I smell her a lot, which is nice. I can smell her very strongly right now. I wish you guys could smell how beautiful she is. And I, I'm fascinated with these blooms with the spots and the stripes and the purple and the green. Love it. Okay, next. This one is my mini Phalaenopsis that taught me a little bit about mini Phalaenopsis and what they require. When I first got her, her blooms like were not happy and started to keel over. Um, as you can see, one of her spikes is dying back. Uh, but I realized that with the fine-rooted Phalaenopsis, they need a little bit more water than the chunky root um, mini Phalaenopsis. So I increased the water level on her higher than I would typically do and her blooms plumped back up, everything perked back up and she has now been in bloom. I'm gonna say, oh gosh, when did I get her? I think I got her back in the fall. So she's been in bloom for a couple of, she, she's been in bloom for a couple of months at least. And no sign of these fading. She, like I said, this one is, but these are still going strong. They're not getting uh, thin, like the, the petals will start to look a little thin uh, and then they start to fade and there's no sign of that. So she's still going pretty strong. This is another orchid that I purchased that was had a spike that was out of bloom and was putting out a secondary spike. And then she put out um, a primary spike as well. So there's quite a few blooms on her and she's really pretty. I mean, you can see she's got this beautiful peachy color to her, but the veining is like a fluorescent purple really really pretty so she's mostly in bloom she does have a few buds left there my other mini fowl as you can see is also in bloom she has a few buds on her and then I wanted to update you on two of my rescue orchids so this is one of my rescue orchids um, that had absolutely no roots and I was hydrating the stem and as you can see she is putting out some new roots that root is finally hydrating the plant so she is putting out a new leaf and also her old leaf is starting to plump back up so as you can see it's still a little bit leathery increased and it may never a hundred percent bounce back but it's now starting to firm back up so it was in this condition where it was limp and leathery and now that that root is finally hydrating the plant, the leaf is, is bouncing back. So she's on the road to recovery. This is the other orchid that I had that was in um, rescue mode. She's the one that had the spike that I did not cut off. Um, it had two blooms on it, but I wasn't, I didn't care about the blooms. There's a lot of energy stored in the spike uh, that the plant will reabsorb to help to regenerate roots to 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 kind of save itself technically because there's a lot of nutrients in this bike so i didn't cut it off although some people do i i personally do not and that's a personal preference and you can do whatever you're comfortable with but i did not and as you can see she is starting to absorb the energy back from the spike so the spike is starting to um go brown and she is reabsorbing that energy and as you can see she's popping out some new roots. So, you know, again, it's personal preference as far as what you wanna do. Some people are firm believers in cutting the spike off because they think that a spike drains the energy from the plant. And I believe that there's a lot of energy in the spike that is beneficial to a plant that is struggling. Um, if a plant is struggling and she tries to put out a spike while she's struggling, then I, you know, understand cutting it off to keep the energy in the main plant. But if there's already a spike present that is in bloom and the st plant starts to struggle, I do not cut the spike off. I let her reabsorb the energy from that spike so that she can save herself. And as you can see, she is in the process of doing that. She does have several roots that are coming out and she's also putting out a leaf in the middle there. So. She is also on the road to recovery. Uh, you know, she's not in great shape. She definitely has some issues with these leaves. Um, but this is what happens to every every Balanopsis that goes through this process that loses its roots and is in some some danger. Always the leaves go 
go limp like this because she's taking all the nutrients available to her and redirecting it to put out roots so that she can continue. Um, and that's what happens with a phalaenopsis. So this doesn't make me nervous. It's actually a good sign. It means that she's gonna start putting out roots and sure enough, boom, there they are. Um, now, something else I wanted to show you is not my Doberman sleeping on the floor, but there she is. Um, my Shelob Tolkien, her spike is progressing. So it looks like I'm gonna have about five blooms on her and they actually should start popping open soon. So I will try to share those with you when they do. Uh, this is another one of my Phalaenopsis that has some buds just about to pop open. I mean, that one is so close. She's gonna pop open any time now. She has this one and she also has a secondary down there. And then this is another foul that I have. This is a primary cross, I think it is. It's it's um, Violacea crossed with something else. I don't know, the tag's in there. I sh I've showed it to you before, but um, she has three buds, possibly a fourth one coming. Um, and this one's starting to get color, so I think it's gonna pop open soon. This Phalaenopsis is my one that I named after my adopted niece, <laughs> Annalise. Uh, so that secondary spike is developing pretty quickly. And it's a very, very chunky, chunky spike. So we'll see how many blooms it develops. And then one other thing that I wanted to show you that I forgot to bring over here is another surprise spike. So I was just looking at my collection and I noticed a little something peeking out from here. So as you can see, I don't know if you can really see it, but I don't want to hurt her. So come on. As you can see right there, that is another spike coming out. And this is a spike that's that has developed in my care. So she hasn't had a spike uh, for about a year and now she's gonna give me some blooms. So I'm pretty excited about this. This is my, the orchid that I named Snow White. She has beautiful white blooms with like an orange lip. So I'm very excited to share that with you as well. Uh, more puppies sleeping in their little beds. So this is orchid watering day. So they just kinda find a spot and lay and just tolerate that mommy's busy. Um, so anyways, that is what's going on with my collection. If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, like I said, I've been a little busy, so I haven't really been able to answer you or share things with you like I'd like. Um, it's gonna, I'm gonna have another couple of weeks of, you know, kind of crazy busyness. So I probably won't be able to post a video again for another two to three weeks. Uh, but I will try to keep up with your comments and uh, everything like that. Uh, but then after that, you know, once June comes around, I should be able to start posting more regularly um, because things should calm down just a bit. So I hope you're all doing well and you're enjoying your collections as much as I am and that they're bringing you lots and lots of joy and happiness. And I will talk to you all next time.